Hi, so this is a Hyperopia strabismus update, mostly Hyperopia. This is going to be the last one for a couple of weeks or so because we've got uh, Norwegian holidays now. Um, so uh, the first big thing, I might have mentioned this in another video, um, but is sleeping on a hard surface. Um, I found that that really, really changes what I can see the next day. Um, and if I do sleep on a harder surface, uh, yeah, I'm very definitely long sighted the next day. Um, so that's that one. Um, my, yeah, this is interesting. Um, my boss um, at work, he actually noticed that I have a lot of tension around the shoulders and he went like oh, you, you can't go around being like this all the time you are really really tense and I don't think anyone's actually sort of physically shown me that before and I'm glad he did because it you know made something click a bit um, so you know I've been thinking making a mental note about unlocking the tension in my shoulders um, yeah and that is also having a significant effect it's not necessarily making me more long-sighted but what is happening is is just as I'm getting to the point of relaxation um, it's like my eyes kind of stop me um I mean sometimes I manage it um say if I'm having a long walk or if I'm running um that completely unlocks my shoulders it unlocks my vision um but this is almost like it would be going just a step too far um so again I'm, I'm kind of wondering um, if 4.5 is actually quite high enough, I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm certainly working with that. I am certainly getting, uh, rid of tension and I'm certainly finding when I do, um, that more and more, um, things are kind of, fuzzy up here just naturally and to be honest I'm fine with that because it means um, my posture is much better I'm much more relaxed uh, that is much more healthy uh, all round and I've certainly had instances where um, you know at work I've had to use my sixes um, my plus sixes when I'm doing close work uh, yeah even as a cleaner you, you do have to do some close work um, you know if you're scrubbing something about here um, I find I don't tolerate that very well with these ones so these ones come on it's much more comfortable um, so yeah and these are great glasses from Zenny um, so yeah that is kind of going in that direction um i'm being a lot more strict about um how much i read i don't think i'm being strict enough because it is too easy to you know check on facebook because you feel you have to and check the news because you feel you have to well yeah i think you have to check the news at the moment because there's a lot going on one way or the other um, and the other thing I had a little go at was this business of going uphill and upstairs um, which I find a bit difficult so what I did was I just shut my eyes as as I was going uh, not not up the stairs but certainly up um, you know up any hilly bits um, and shut my eyes let my shoulders drop 
and just took a quick mental note of what happened when I opened my eyes and what seems to happen is that anything within like five six feet can sometimes be a bit close through these sometimes even it goes a bit fuzzy now when things go fuzzy at near distance it's honestly not the same um, as when it goes out of focus at far distance um, you know, if you've ever worn a pair of glasses that you know perhaps are too strong so you can't see anything at distance um, or you defocus a camera perhaps um, that's kind of what it's like um, at, at a distance but when it's at near it kind of feels like a sort of a film comes over everything uh, that's the nearest I can describe it um, and it is one of those things that happens quite suddenly when you get that sudden bit of relaxation um, and that might sound a bit of an alarming description because you'd automatically think oh, cataracts um, but obviously a cataract is something that's there all of the time it wouldn't just come and go um, this is more like the the brain is kind of fogging out a little bit um, as as well because the eye isn't you know it's st it's it comes to a point where it stops accommodating it relaxes it stops communicating with with the brain um, I mean if things are out of focus at far that tends to be more of a constant um, so yeah there's there's that really um, and I want to move on to a couple of viewer comments uh, Otis Brown um, he mentioned the experiments that there are there is an experiment on monkeys uh, which showed that they adapted to plus lenses now Otis can you um, it'd be great if you could provide the actual link because I've tried to look this up and I found out that there seems to be more than one experiment um, so the, the subtext of this um, which actually is a very good point is that um, maybe plus lenses could be damaging in the same way that you know too much minus lenses could be and your eyes will adapt um, now I can only at this point without knowing quite which research it was um, I can only answer from my personal experience um, and that is that um, when the lenses work for me um, what happens is my eyes physically start um, lining up correctly um, my posture gets much better I'm a lot more comfortable I'm a lot more relaxed um, and also I have depth perception with a big plus which um, I've never had at any time without um, the the other sort of slightly interesting thing that happens is when these are working correctly for me they they are actually not magnifiers things actually appear their normal size so suddenly like i see clearly and because they have been magnifying if i've been trying to deal close up suddenly something clicks everything gets much clearer much brighter um, that's that's the other thing everything is much brighter and um, much smaller so things go back to their correct size uh, is what I'm saying 
Um, the other comment, um, a viewer asked, okay, if I open my eyes slowly, um, do I, do, does it smart? Um, so I gave this a try and actually, yes, it does. Now that, that is only, not if I just open them, but if I try and open them all the way, I get to a point where I'm opening them really wide and I get the sudden urge to, to blink. And I think that is just the, the muscles um, of each eye be, being a bit misaligned w with each other. Um, so, yeah, that was basically that one. So, yeah, um, as I say, this is my last one for a week or so or two. Um, you know, I'll be going on holiday. We are allowed to do this uh, in Norway. Um, so, you know, I'll be away from the computer completely. Um, I'll be travelling, I'll be looking at, you know, lots of landscape, lots of distance. Uh, so, yeah, uh, be interesting to see um, how it develops, you know, af after I got back. Um, so, you know, what I'm hoping for is, you know, a bit more stability um, either way. Um, and yeah, just um, improve functioning. So 